Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's gonna be a quick video about the ZWO peer extension, the PE200 for the AM5. And it's supposed to mount on a EQ6R Pro tripod, which this is a CGEM tripod, which is the same thing. It mounts the same to the EQ6R Pro. EQ6R Pro head is right there. So anyway, this is the peer extension. So what they want you to do is the little piece that comes with it. It's supposed to bolt to the bottom side of this. And then it's supposed to fit in the groove up here on top. But it doesn't fit in there. It's too, it's too tall and it'll wobble. I had it on there. I recorded another video, but some dummy ruined it because I didn't have any audio on it. Because I'm using new Cinco. These are Cinco G2 wireless mics. And I didn't have it set up right. So now I'm recording a shorter video. So anyway, so what I've done to make it work is bolted that piece on the inside. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I bolted it on the inside so it's flat on the bottom. That's just my first issue. Second issue is you're supposed to be able to use the bolt that goes up to the bottom. It's supposed to, I think it's 10, 10 millimeter. So this bolts into the bottom of the EQ6R Pro. It does not bolt into the bottom of this one. It's too big. These threads are 3 8 16. So what I've done to fix that, went to the hardware store and bought a piece of all thread. 3 8 16, one foot long. It was like two bucks. Then you get a, two wing nuts, two washers. This is how you make it work. Screw that up to the bottom. Screw it into the bottom of that. Tighten up the wing nut. Make sure the threads, I know you can't see it, but make sure the threads go all the way through there. That way you know you're getting good, good contact in there. So that's tight. Tighten that wing nut tight. Take your spreader, put your spreader plate up there. I just use this one for a, a spacer because that way I'm not spinning this wing nut up for six inches. Just tighten up the wing nut. Tighten that one so the legs are tight. And it's tight. That is solid. That ain't going anywhere. That's my only gripe with this. And it's going to work. It'll work just fine. But it doesn't fit the way ZWO says it's going to fit. Now, let me grab the head unit, the AM5. The AM5 goes in the same way. Put the bigger piece on the bottom here, and it slides right into the, into the mount. Tighten down the, the three lock nut deals here. Tighten those down. And you're good to go. These things polar align, I mean, within five minutes, you can get it done. And they guide unbelievably good. I know people are questioning the, the guiding of these, but I've been getting 0.5, sometimes even below 0.5 and RMS, 0.5 RMS total. But I mean, six, even up to seven, but I mean, most of the time it's at 0.6 and the stars are perfectly round and tiny. So I don't know. I think I'm in love with this little mount. My poor EQ6 over there, I think it, it might be getting retired or sold, but we'll see. We don't know how long these are gonna last. I mean, they're new, but uh, hopefully ZWO has done their homework and it's a really good, uh, really good uh, mount. So anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to see if you guys have come across the same thing. ZWO says that this thread on the inside is supposed to be M10, but it's not. 
it's 3 8 by 16. So let me know in the comments if you guys have come across the same thing. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe and give me a like. All right, thanks. Have a good day.